Dear friends, first of all, I wish to express my deep gratitude for receiving this extraordinary Frontiers of Knowledge Award in the Humanities from the BBVA Foundation, which is a family of awards embracing broad spectrum of disciplines from the basic sciences to the arts and the humanities. Its actions intend to throw light on two different but related aspects in our culture. One aspect is attention to my work as a scientist and historian of science over many years. I must acknowledge that I had the amazing luck that in my PhD research at Harvard University, I was supervised by the science philosopher and novelist P.W. Bridgman. His advice helped me for the following 30 years to run my high-pressure researches. Eventually, my interests also moved into the history and philosophy of science, especially the analysis of the humanistic thought processes that animate the original scientific work. This focused especially on the most productive and transformative scientists, such as Johannes Kepler, Isaac Newton, but above all, Albert Einstein. It turned out that those and many other scientists operated in their research not only with the usual tools and intuitions, but also powerfully with a certain type of fundamentally philosophical conceptions, quietly assumed by them, which I have called thematic ideas. The finding in my work on them led me also to incorporate in my books and in my activities as teacher and mentor the humanistic elements animating all true advances and insight. My research and publications have also sought to analyze how society at large rewards the place of science in our culture and to understand the cultural contributions of science as a central civilizing force fostering rationality and objectivity and the many challenges it has confronted from early modernity to the present day. Now I mentioned at the beginning that there, there is another vital aspect behind the Frontiers of Knowledge Award in the humanities. That refers to the unique and deeply moving concern of the BBVA Foundation, which is an institution supported by a global financial group with the pursuit of knowledge encompassing as a continuum science and the humanities in our time, the prevalent separation and splintering of the different parts of our culture are all too often taken for granted. But in opposition, I have followed the advice of Alfred North Whitehead. He said, in the conditions of modern life, the rule is absolute. The race which does not value trained intelligence is doomed. Therefore, the unique actions on behalf of mending across the gaps by the foundations are to be especially honored. So, with a thousand thanks for the award, as, as well as its larger meaning coming toward the end of my long life, I greet you with my heartiest embrace. <laughs>